You think they are? We we'll buddies there. We we'll pals. So I'm here with Dale out on the mountain and Dale's just a young dog and we're starting to starting to well starting to introduce him a bit to the mountain. It's sort of the wrong time of the year for any kind of big work because the owls are a little bit tired at this time of the year. Uh, so they're not just full of energy. So it's better to have a you know a well-trained, well-schooled, clever dog that'll stay off him and give him a chance to think, it'll give him a chance to escape for themselves and that kind of thing. But I'm here with Dale and I brought him up here just for a bit of practice on the hill. Just get him kind of used to the idea and get myself used to starting to bring him out. But the thing we often talk about is, you know, with um, with bond and that, like. Right now, Dale and me, we don't really have much of a bond, and we can't really have much of a bond until he starts to get a bit more respect for me, until he realizes that our arrangement is a quid pro quo sort of a deal. And so right now, he, he couldn't care less about getting attention or affection or praise or any of those things off me. He just wants sheep. He doesn't care about any of that other stuff. And so you can see up here, you know, dog needs to have good appetite for work. And so a fella like him, He's got plenty of appetite to work, but I'm not that important to him. I'm just something that he kind of has to comply with some of the time. And so when he gets out of range, he'd do what he likes. So I have to be careful how I, you know, manage him. Uh, and I have to mean what I say all the time with Dale. I can't say lie down, lie down, and then just accept it if he doesn't. You know, I have to insist on everything and I have to make myself important. And so I expect that after a while, with enough work, we'll start to get a bond. Then a bond will develop where he'll know that I'm good for him and and that he'll get what he wants, you know, if he, if he works accordingly. And so he'll find out how to reward himself and he'll realize that there's something in it for him, you know, hanging around with me. And then I'll become more important to him. And then we'll start to get a bit of a bond. But until we get that respect that when we're up here, you know, and it's serious business up here, you can't be having the dog out of control up here or anything. When, when we're, uh, when we have good stops and a good, just good control on him and good respect from him, you know, that's when the bond starts. So you can't buy your way into that. You can't affection your way into that. You can't praise your way into that. It, you have to negotiate. But now, that's only if you have a Dale. If you have a kind of an easier going dog, you know, he's less keen now. It kind of disguises that relationship because you can buy him a little bit because it's not as important to him. But with Dale, that the whole bond deal is very clear. You know, I'm not caught myself into thinking he has a will to please me. He hasn't got any will to please me, but it, it, it'll develop into a kind of a, uh, a dichotomy, sort of a relationship there where we'll both mutually benefit from him working correctly. And, and so I'm looking forward to having a bond with Dale. There's no point in thinking I'll get that overnight. You know, it's going to take work. It's going to take good, clear communication. And it's going to take a little bit of enforcement and correction uh, to establish that relationship. So I'll show you what it's like up here today. We're just waiting for the fog to clear over on this mountain. And it's starting to clear up behind that cloud and fog. There's uh, another mountain and that's where we want to go to gather the sheep. And this is actually this side over here where me and Dale are, hold on there. This is our hill, this is where my sheep graze. And you'll have seen videos of these rocks and all before. But it's actually back out over the top is where, where most of our sheep are. So me and Dale are just going to wait for the fog to clear. We came up here just to push up a few sheep and uh, that's that's what we're up here to do. No, I think the boys are here. I might have to come back down. I see somebody's arrived there. 